How are you? Do you want to learn how to draw Buddy the Elf? Favorite movie ever. And Will Ferrell is one of my favorite characters. And look at this adorable little Buddy the Elf. So if you want to learn how to draw this cute little guy, you are going to need your sketchbook or a piece of paper or something to draw on. You are going to need a pencil so you can draw this awesome doodle. You are going to need a marker to outline that doodle and an eraser to erase any mistakes that you might make. And don't forget the crayons, the markers, the colored pencils, or the paint. Grab all those supplies and let's get started! very crazy 2020 but it is almost Christmas and with Christmas means a whole new year so we are going to do some Christmas doodles so I am going to work on drawing Buddy the Elf I have a spare sheet of paper underneath my scrap or my uh, sketchbook paper here that way I don't bleed through to the paper behind it and ruin um, a sketch paper that I could use so that's my protective paper. So if you're working on your table and you're gonna draw in Sharpie like me, make sure you have that spare piece of paper. So let's go ahead. We're gonna draw Buddy the Elf. So Buddy is probably my favorite character. And we, in this house, our elf on a shelf is actually named Buddy. And my son chose Buddy and named him Buddy before he ever saw the movie, I'm gonna come down a little more. So it was kind of funny when he first saw the movie, he was like, oh my goodness, like that's my buddy, that's Buddy the Elf. So go ahead and draw kind of like a sideways cone shape here. This is gonna be his hat. He has that kind of little cone hat that he wears and we're gonna go ahead and do a curved line across, but I'm not gonna go all the way um, I'm going to leave a little gap here for some of his hair because he had kind of big, puffy, curly hair. So we're going to leave a little gap there. So now, I think I'm going to start him with some of his little curls. And his curls are just going to be these big hill shapes all the way around. So I'm going to add three there. And I'm trying to keep kind of like the part that would fall right next to his hat open for his ear. So I don't want to go with another cone here, or another cone, another um, curve, because I want to be able to draw his ear in. So I can actually go in and do a C shape. And then I can kind of go across my paper in that same space over here and do a backward C shape. And then we've got both my ears in, and it's a little easier now for me to kind of continue with his hair. So I'm going to just keep adding those little U's. all the way across his forehead here. Up here where I was gonna add a hill, I'm gonna add another one, and then over here maybe I add a couple, and they can come down and kinda end next to his ear, right where that other one ends. So there, so now I'm done over there. Let's add a couple more U's here and just kinda finish by his ear. So now we've got all of Buddy's fluffy hair. Love, 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 love this movie. And let's go ahead and do the line. He's got like a, um, uh, like a little stripe on his hat that's yellow and then up here there's kind of like a feather so we'll just kind of do kind of like a leaf shape all right so far our buddy is coming along now we're gonna draw kind of like a flattened U go down and across for his bottom of his head and we'll give him a skinny little neck two skinny little lines. I always like my kids, when we draw these little kind of characters, we always like to do skinny little necks. It just kind of works out, giving them big old heads that are a little more the focal point of our picture and then to go a little smaller. 
with the rest of their body. It just kind of look like bobbleheads. They're fun. All right, we'll do a line underneath his neck, and then I'm going to do kind of like a W, and that's just the white collar on his little kind of outfit that he wore. And then I'm going to come down on each side with his arms. And just try to keep your lines nice and even. And then I'm going to come down. I'm going to go up a little bit. You don't have to go up as high. I kind of went up a little high on that side. Come, just go up a little bit and come down. So he kind of looks like he's going to have a dress. And then up here we can kind of come in on both sides. Again, trying to keep them a little even. Then we'll come out here and down and across. Come just up a little bit. And these are just those big sleeves that he had on his little outfit. And then I'll just do some curved hands and we'll just give him little basic rounded cartoon arms. All right, I am gonna switch over. So I have this dual Sharpie that I love because I've got my fine side, which is what we're currently drawing with, but then I've got my ultra fine side for really small areas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in the middle here, kind of up a little higher on his little suit jacket, and I'm gonna draw a square. And this is gonna be like his big belt buckle. And then inside this square, I'm just gonna draw a smaller square. Boop. And then I'm gonna add some lines. And to make it look like a belt, you kind of take the line from the inside square and you go out and across. So like where it is there, I could just kind of move out. And where it is here, I can move out. And that just helps it look a little more like the buckle is on the outside and that's going through the middle which is what we want. Then I'm gonna go straight down from the top. My marker is kind of dying a little bit here. And then I'm gonna curve out. And I'm gonna curve out. Okay, so now we've got his little jacket. And then on both sides, he's got these cute little, very intricate design going down. So we're gonna add these little Again, where the fine sharpie, uh, ultra fine sharpie works. If you don't have an ultra fine sharpie, use a black pen. It'll work just fine. You just need something that's not, if I use the big Sharpie to outline this, I'm gonna get just a black blob. I'm not gonna get the nice little circles that I want. So I can cap this back up because I'm done. And now right down the middle there of his jacket, I'm gonna do a straight line going down pretty far, kind of towards the end there. I'm gonna curve down on both sides. And these are his legs. And then I'm going to just do a line and a line. Now I ended it here because we've got to give him his curly little elf shoes. So we're just going to end his legs and then we're going to kind of just come out and just kind of make a curl and you can go back into there. And that's maybe a little difficult. Maybe if I turn my paper, this looks like the letter J and then I can come back like I'm making a big bubble letter J. Now on the other side, I'm going to have to do the opposite. So I'm going to have to make kind of like a backwards J and then come back in. So he's got his little elf shoes. Look how cute he is. Ah, I love it. Plus Wolf Ferrell is one of my favorite characters or actors, I guess. Every character he plays, I really enjoy. So I'm going to go ahead and give him two eyes. If you want to leave the little white sparkles in there, you can. I know Buddy is a very happy elf. He is super, super happy. So I, it probably would look better if you had a little white dot there. And since I colored him all in black, I'm just going to grab my little jelly roll and go in and kind of fix that. All right. And then he's got his big old smiles. I think I might use my smaller marker for his smile and his smile is just going to go all the way across his face. He is super duper duper happy. He is the happiest person around, especially, I mean, how could you not be happy? What does he eat? He always ate the, um, ah, oh, what was it? Spaghetti with syrup on it. <laughs> so gross. Right? Let me know in the comments. Would you eat spaghetti with syrup? Spaghetti noodles. I guess there wasn't actually spaghetti sauce. So I'm going to go ahead with my crayons here and I'm going to color in his hair. You know, he had kind of like a orangey brown hair. Um, 
So I'm going to use this like goldeny brown and then I think I might go in and add just a little value. Those would be some darker areas to help kind of give it a little more depth. So I'm going to go in and give it a nice color and these are my Crayola twistables. I am absolutely obsessed with all of the Crayola twistable items. I need a Crayola twistable marker. I know that doesn't make any sense, which is probably why they don't have them, but I love Crayola. I do love their super tips. But if I could just have a marker that I could just keep twisting and would never dry out, I would just be so happy. So I'm gonna color, color, color. What is something that you really want for Christmas? Let me know, something you're really looking forward to. Maybe it's not even something you want. Maybe it's just something you're looking forward to. This is the first year I'm not gonna see my family. So I'm gonna stay home, my extended family, my, my parents and my, maybe my husband's parents or you know, my grandmother, things like that. So this is kind of the first year I'm just looking forward to being with my family, with my husband and my son, and just having our own little Christmas this year. And our three dogs. All right, Buddy has his little hair. Now his hat is like a lime green. So I think I might do, let's see if I have it in marker, I think I'm gonna do both. Marker and crayon, which would be mixed media. So I would be able to use multiple mediums. So a medium would be a crayon, a marker, paint, pencil. Those are your mediums. Those are the things that you're using to create your art. And by switching back and forth, I'm using mixed mediums. I'm mixing together the difference between my crayons and my markers just to kind of create different textures or different looks in my image. So there's my marker. Remember when you color with your marker, use that side. Your marker has a really cool angle for a reason. The tip is to do super, super fine areas and that side is to do your big areas. I'm gonna put this to the side because I'm gonna color his outfit too, but I wanna finish his hat. So right there in the middle of his hat, <clears throat> he has that stripe and that stripe is yellow. And again, I'm coloring with that angled part and it really fills it in. You don't get a lot of stripey lines either if you color with that part. I have a couple with the green, but my green is actually drying out. Uh, <clears throat> red is what this lovely little leaf thing is up here. So we color that in. I don't think he has any other red on him. Okay. I'm actually gonna use marker for his face too and his hands. Let me go in and color in his hands first. Then I'm going to add some crayon on top of that to help add some shadows. My allergies, I've been dusting and vacuuming and just I probably should use crayon. His face is looking awfully sick. He's looking sick. Maybe it'll dry lighter. I don't think so, but good thought, right? He's looking ill. We'll fix that. We'll have to fix that. There's something we got to be able to do. <laughs> He's just, his face is so dark now. Okay. Oh, I forgot his neck. Okay, I'll put that marker away and we're going to go back with the yellow. So with the yellow, his tights are yellow. And those are his little pants here. So let's go ahead and color those in nice and yellow. And his little shoes down here are black. So we can do those black later. And then his belt is black, but the buckle is yellow. So that's the square on the outside of the belt part. And then these are white and that is white. So we can leave that, but all these little circles are yellow. So let's go ahead and color all those in. And then when we color the rest of his suit, we just have to be very careful not to go over those so we can still have those really cute little accent colors. And instead of coloring in his shoes with my Sharpie, which I probably should have done for his eyes too, I'm gonna use the black Crayola because it won't bleed through my paper like the Sharpie will. 
So I'm going to color in his little elf shoes with the black. Give him some nice black shoes. And then I'm going to come up here and do, he looks like Elvis right now with his little white jacket. Google it. I'm telling you. All right, let's go ahead and cap that. And then we are on to our green. So the first way I'm going to color is I'm going to go around all these cute little circles. Each one. And then I'm going to color in his jacket here. And I'm going to go down to his belt. Now, the only thing that you got to be very careful with is if you color in with the washable marker and not the Sharpie is you can't really go very close to that area or else that black will smear because they are washable. So washable means that they are water-based, which means that as soon as something wet gets near it, it's going to kind of activate the marker again, which will make it wet and it'll smear. So if you are going to outline your doodle with a regular marker instead of a Sharpie like I did. So if you drew it in pencil with me and then your mom said no Sharpies, which all of my kids always tell me that <laughs> when I say get out your Sharpie in class, they tell me, well, my mom said no Sharpie. Well, <laughs> I love your mom and yes, at home, no Sharpie, but in class we're using Sharpie. So you have to be careful. Sharpie will not smear. I could go right over the Sharpie with my marker and it'll be okay because it is permanent. But my Crayolas are washable. So if I go over that marker, it will smear and it'll mess up your colors and make them really kind of grody looking. So I'm going to go back in with a darker brown on his hair. I cannot color his hair with marker now that I've used crayon because crayons have wax in them. So if I go over the wax with something like a crayon, I mean with a marker, sorry, it is going to not stick to the wax. Um, if you have a candle that's not lit and you run it under water, it doesn't, the candle doesn't get wet. The water kind of beads up on the candle because wax repels the water. So a crayon is made with colored wax. So if we if we drew something with crayon and then painted our whole paper, so let's say we took a white crayon and wrote our name. This is a fun little magic trick. You can try it sometime if your parents will let you. Get a white crayon, push down fairly well, and write a secret message. Then go get your washable watercolors and paint over your whole paper, and your message will pop right through because the wax in the crayon repels the water. So I can't go over my crayon with my marker because nothing's going to happen, especially if I'm coloring as hard as I am. The crayon, and it will also ruin my marker because some of this crayon will lift up and probably stick to my marker, which will make my marker not work. But yeah, you can try that. That would be a fun little project to do during this lovely winter break if you're on break and if you're on break are you at home are you going somewhere what are you doing let me know I want to know I want to know what you guys are doing I feel like it has been way too long I guess that I underestimated how hectic <laughs> working during a pandemic would be um, a lot of work you know it's like working triple what you might have worked before. I've never felt so drained, I guess. Drawing all day is always my favorite thing to do and coloring with my kiddos and just, it's a lot of fun, but it has been very tiring. And I think it's more because I have a mask on all day and I feel like maybe just not, you know, getting good oxygen probably makes you feel a little more exhausted. All right, so he added a little pink to his cheeks because remember, he's like super excited about like everything in life. My favorite scene in Elf is when he, uh, when, <laughs> when he's working in the mall and they see Santa's coming and he screams, Santa, I know him, like that. <laughs> that is my favorite part of the movie. I love it. It's a good movie. 
All right, well, that looks like that's about all the shadow I can get on that really ridiculously dark peach marker. So look at our little elf, our little buddy, the elf. He is super cute. I hope that you had fun doodling with me today. If so, please like, subscribe, and share the video. And I hope that you guys have a great holiday. Check back for more videos. I do plan to post several this vacation. So... Have a great day. Have a great Christmas, Hanukkah, or whatever you celebrate. I love you guys. Have a great day and stay safe. Bye.